Hello everyone and welcome to Fight Max Gaming. Today I wanted to share with you a guide to pyromancy that I've made for Dark Souls 3. Playing as a pyromancer is a lot of fun and is definitely a nice powerful build to choose for your character. In this video I will share a couple of tips for newcomers to the game. Firstly, it is important to know the different ways to strengthen your pyromancy ability. The damage your pyromancy flame does scales off your intelligence and fate attributes, so investing points in them is a great way to boost your abilities. You can also strengthen your pyromancy flame by reinforcing it. You can do this by going to Cornix in Firelink Shrine after freeing him from the Undead Settlement. And lastly, you can get a really nice boost to your pyromancy ability by using rings. The rings that I use for my build are the Witch's Ring, the Great Swamp Ring, the Fire Clutch Ring and the Sage Ring. The first three rings give me a very significant damage boost on my pyromancies. In this example, you can see I'm getting almost a 65% increase in my damage just by using these three rings. The higher damage output makes me kill enemies significantly faster. Most computer controlled enemies don't even get a chance to attack me when I have these rings equipped. I also use the Sage Ring to increase my casting speed so that I don't have to spend points on Dexterity and can use those points elsewhere when leveling up. A really important concept that I wanted to go over is learning how to free aim as a Pyromancer. Most players will easily be able to dodge your fireballs if you lock onto them. You can get away with locking onto your targets when it comes to fighting most computer controlled enemies. But if you are planning to fight other players as a pyromancer, then it is crucial to learn how to free aim in order to become a successful player. When you are fighting other players, do not shoot where they are. Shoot where they are going to be. Analyzing your opponent's patterns and predicting their position can make the difference between winning or losing a match. For example, if an opponent is rushing towards me a lot, I will cast a fireball on top of myself in order to punish my opponent. Also, if I notice that my opponent tends to roll in one specific direction, when I cast a spell, then I cast my attack in that direction. Now let's cover the basics of how to manually aim your spells. There are two important components that need to be considered, which are horizontal aiming and vertical aiming. You can select the direction of your attack by changing the direction your character is facing. This will be your horizontal aim. Also, the higher you tilt up your camera, the higher your aim will be. This will be your vertical aim. It definitely takes a bit of practice to learn how to combine vertical and horizontal aiming to hit your target. I lost a lot of matches when I first started out as a pyromancer, but with practice I became better and began winning more matches. I can assure you if you put some time and effort into learning how to free aim, it will definitely become a worthwhile skill to have. There are many different pyromancies that you can find in the game. I've added a link to a video in the description which shows you the location of all the pyromancies. I also wanted to share my favorite spells to use as a pyromancer. The first pyromancy that I wanted to talk about is Sacred Flame. This in my opinion is the coolest looking pyromancy in the game and it makes you look like an absolute badass. This grab attack is a bit tricky to use but it does a whole lot of damage when you land it successfully. I usually bait enemies into this attack by making them think I'm doing a projectile pyromancy. The next spell that I really like using especially against other players is Fire Surge. This spell has solid range and is a great way to apply pressure and chip away your opponent's health bar. Most opponents won't be able to get within range to hit me back when I am using this spell. I like to mix this spell up with Fire Whip to always keep my opponents guessing. Fire Whip is also a very handy spell to use. It does good damage and has a really nice stagger effect to boot. The next pyromancy on this list is the Great Chaos Fire Orb. Now this spell is a beast. This spell does great damage when it hits your opponent and to top it all off, it creates a lava pool when it lands, which also does additional damage to the enemy. This is a great spell to use to fight computer controlled enemies and other players as well. This is my absolute favorite spell in the game and I use this spell the most to practice my free aiming with. 
My character is currently at level 110 and I have added information about my build in the description of this video. I have also incorporated some melee elements to my build because I really enjoy using the parry and riposte mechanics in this game. I have infused my melee weapon with a chaos gem which inflicts fire damage and scales off intelligence and faith. So that way, whenever I invest points in intelligence and faith, my pyromancy flame and my melee weapon both get stronger, which is pretty awesome. One more important tip that I'd like to give as a pyromancer is to invest points in attunement. That way you will have more spell slots available to you and will also get additional FP to cast more spells. By doing this, your chances of depleting your FP completely and requiring a refill will be much lower during an intense fight. I hope you guys found this guide helpful and if you have any questions or feedback, please do let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to answer your questions as best I can. If you enjoyed watching this guide, then please do give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to watch more content like this from my channel, then please do hit the subscribe button as well. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.